Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Bella and on this channel, we love all things design and DIY. Today is the beginning, I think, of a new series. I've been doing a lot a lot of online window shopping lately and I've been finding a lot of really fun things especially for the home that I absolutely in no universe can afford but that doesn't mean that someone else out there can't afford them and it also doesn't mean that other people like me who do not have the budget for these things don't just want to browse around and get a little bit inspired. So today I'm going to be recommending home decor I cannot afford and the first place that we're going to be looking at is Ralph Lauren home. Just a disclaimer, I'm going to be saying Ralph Lauren for this entire video. I don't care if it's Ralph Lauren, if it's Ralph Lauren, you can try to correct me in the comments. I probably won't take it to heart because I'm just used to saying Ralph Lauren. To me, it's vase vase. Ralph Lauren home to me is just like my dream aesthetic, my dream home design. I love everything about it. And so we're gonna do a bit of a deep dive today. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things that I've found and we're just gonna talk about them. I don't want this video to be like, oh my God, why would anyone spend this much money on something? I don't really care. Spend your money on what you wanna spend your money on. If you love it, if you're gonna get a lot of use out of it, then I don't think it's wasteful spending. So that is not the tone that I want this video to have. We're just gonna be doing some browsing and these things just happen to be kind of out of my price range, but that's okay. We're gonna start with kitchenwares because I think Ralph Lauren does such amazing dishes. And one thing that I just discovered are these really fun mugs. So these are $45 and there's a few designs. They have kind of this like vintage sort of hunting old New England aesthetic that Ralph Lauren is so classic for. I really like this one, the deer logo mug. This one is also really fun, also $45 and it kind of has like a old workwear label on it, which I think is really cool. And then I think this one has to be my favorite, the engineer coat logo mug. This one's on sale for $34. I think this price point is like, okay. It's still a little much for a mug, but I think this would be like an amazing gift price point. Like for someone who would really appreciate this, I think $45 if you wanted to give someone a nice gift that's very niche to them, I think this is worth it. I also really like the Ralph's coffee line that they have. They have like Ralph's branded everything, which I didn't know. Specifically, I love this espresso cup and saucer. These are $25. This is the kind of thing that if you knew they had these in stock all the time, which I'm assuming they do because the Ralph's coffee branding is pretty classic to Ralph Lauren. Something like this, even if it's out of your budget to buy like $100 worth of these at a time for a set of four, maybe like once a season or once a year, or again, gifting. I think it's a really, really sweet idea and I'm gonna keep touching on this while we're talking about dishes because I am a dish fanatic. But I love the idea of having like your signature dishware and so if somebody knew that you were trying to build up a collection of say these cups and saucers what a perfect gift to contribute to your set let's take a look at glassware next this is where the prices get a little excessive <laughs> i really love the style of this this is the langley martini glass it's 125 dollars which for one glass okay but i just wanted to talk about the style of this glass I don't really like a martini glass that's just plain glass and especially something that really bothers me with stemware is when the glass is really thick. I don't personally drink martinis anyways, but serving a cocktail in a martini glass I think is very chic and fun, but I don't want to drink a cocktail out of a martini glass that has a thick stem and a thick rim around it. Same goes for wine glasses, it's just really unappealing to me. So I really, really like how thin and dainty this glass is. And then I love that added interest with the band of like stripes around it. I think this is very, very classy. This is the Hudson plaid highball set. I really love these. I think this is a motif that you don't see in cut glass very often, which I think is really interesting. It has a very classic feel, but there's something a little bit different about it because I feel like you don't come across like a plaid pattern too often in glassware. And this is 165 for the set. So 
a bit of a bargain compared to our martini glass. Another set, this is the Sterling Highball set, also 165 for two glasses. I think, just judging by these choices that I've made, I'm really a sucker for this like striped sort of pattern in cut glass. I think it's really pretty, really classic. It's just simple and streamlined. There's not a lot going on, which I really appreciate. Okay, now we're moving on to what was the impetus for this video. And that is the Faded Peony China. I love this China so much. Actually, I don't know if I'm wrong in saying that it's China, but I'm just gonna say that because I already have. I absolutely love this motif, especially in the green color. It comes in green and then the blue, which I'll show you in a second. But this is the salad plate. I just wanted to use this as an example. This is $34. Again, a gift of contributing to somebody's dishware set. It's always nice to have a collection of something, but especially with dishes that you can actually use, I think it just makes it all the more of a special kind of tradition of gift giving. So I'm just putting that out there for anyone watching this video that knows me. I'm just saying, I wouldn't mind a faded peony plate in green. <laughs> they also have this fruit bowl, which I think is really gorgeous. Now this is 175, which is beefy. I think this is just a really pretty shape though. I love this slight little like mount kind of shape on the bottom and then how it's really beautifully fluted out at the top. I just love the lines of this bowl. And then this one is also really fun. This is the octagonal bowl. Why did that sound so weird saying that? Octagonal bowl. This is $150. And again, I just wanted to point out the lines of this one because I think it's a really interesting shape that you don't see very often. And this is the blue color, which I also think is gorgeous and would be really pretty mixed in with the green. And then we have the faded peony teapot. I absolutely love teapots. I think this is such a gorgeous shape. I love teapots that have that like 90 degree angle at the top of the handle. I think it's just a really pretty classic look and it looks very antique without, you know, being full of like lead paint. <laughs> and this is $165, so it's a very special teapot. <laughs> I wanna talk about pillows because their pillows were really all over the place price-wise. Starting off with this pillow, this is the Ashby Throw Pillow, and it has this really cute tennis racket motif on it. Oh, this is available in two colors. I didn't even see that. This is on sale right now for $178.50 from $255. If you actually had a tennis court and you had like loungers somewhere in the vicinity of that, and then you had cushions with a tennis racket motif on them with matching white cushions on the loungers with the green accent piping along the edge of it. That is what I wish this pillow had, is green piping surrounding it, just to echo the embroidery. I think that would be really cute. But I love this whole vibe. I think it's really summery, really classic, and expensive. <laughs> Speaking of expensive, this pillow is $850 and I can't for the life of me figure out why, but that's fine. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's just interesting. This is the Equestrian Knit Throw Pillow. Just as someone who sews and is very obsessed with fibers, I would be interested to see like what is this pillow made of and why is it so much money? Cause this is like almost a thousand dollars for one pillow. With a lot of the other things I can see like Okay, it's kind of like a mid-range sort of luxury price, but this is like very, very high price. And I just don't understand why. However, I really love the motif. I think it's gorgeous. Okay, this is way more modest. These are on sale for $59.50. This is the Middlebrook plaid throw pillow. These are on sale from $120. I love this print so much. I have my eye on a yellow plaid at the fabric store right now that I kind of want to make some pillows for my bed for the fall, I think would be really gorgeous. But also this kind of golden yellow color, I think plays really well off of any season. It's a really happy, sunny color. I think it transitions really nicely into the fall. And then in the winter, Christmas decor. Can you imagine like a navy blue, hints of mustard, but then also like actual metallic gold or brass accents? I love this so much and I think it's a really great staple and now I'm fully convinced myself that I have to go 
buy that fabric and recreate something like this. The next thing I wanna talk about is lighting. I did not realize that they have such amazing lighting options. I really like this flush mount. This is the Ella Woven Small Flush Mount, coming in at a grand total of $1,969. I think this is a really fun option for a flush mount if you don't want something that's too like commanding of a room. Flush mount is obviously a choice, but the options are so boring. I really love this woven detail. It doesn't take up too much of your attention if you want a very discreet light, but it's not just like a boring flush mount that's not doing anything. So I really love this. Next is the Hendrix Small Globe Pendant. This is $1,619. I think this would be so pretty as a pendant in a kitchen or a bathroom, because I'm picturing it playing really perfectly off of like white marble and unfinished brass. Just that really kind of like stark feeling, but kind of warm at the same time, like European bistro is like the vibe I'm getting from this and I really like it. And then we have this, I think this is like one of my favorite light fixtures I've ever maybe seen ever. Wow, can't even talk, that's how much I love it. This is the Cambridge Large Smoke Bell Lantern. I think this is probably the most expensive thing we're looking at today, and it is $3,909. I am obsessed with this. I love anything that's like a cloche shape, and then it has that kind of plaid motif that we looked at earlier in the highball glass, which I love, I love etched glass. And then you have that sort of candelabra, effect on the inside of the cloche. I think it looks a little bit gothic almost, which I really like that kind of influence. But then the etched glass and the plaid motif and everything just coming together looks very classic. I think this would be the perfect fixture for like a very large grand front hall. Just with this being the focal point, I think it's still understated though because all of the details I think just really work nicely together. But this is like my dream light fixture. I love a sconce so much and they have so many good options. If you're in the market for a good sconce and you have a bit of a budget, please, please visit Ralph Lauren Home because this is just a tiny fraction of the amazing options they have. I absolutely loved the Allen line of sconces. So this is the Allen double light sconce. This is $809. I love this over like a bathroom sink or something or a vanity. And then a part of the same line, I really like this one. This is the Allen Small Linear Sconce. It's $929. I just love the design of this whole line. These ones in particular, I think would just be such a simple, kind of understated, but still a little luxe looking sconce, like matching sconces to put on either side of a bed. This is a very, very classic sconce and I love it. So this is the net swing arm sconce and it's $709. What I love specifically about this is that the lines are very, very classic. You can find so many sconces like this at so many price points, but I love that the shade is also in the same finish as everything else. It makes it just a little bit different. This is the Barrett 18 inch picture light. This is $1,279. What I love about this is that you could really nicely pair this with a very old painting and have a perfect contrast between the very industrial kind of contemporary look of the light and then mix that with like a big chipped old crusty gilded frame with like an ancient oil painting in it. I think that would look so, so good. And then probably my second favorite next to the lantern ceiling light we looked at. This is the Kayla Medium Sculpted Sconce. They have different sizes of this one. This one is $1,693.30 on sale from $2,419. I love this. There's not a lot to say about this other than like look at it. It's so pretty. I can picture this in a really over-the-top dramatic dressing room or closet like a 
large walk-in closet, obviously. I really like this, and the smaller size might be a little bit more applicable to do like double matching sconces beside a bed or a vanity or something like that. So that is everything that I wanted to talk about today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down below, leave a comment or like the video so I know that you wanna see more videos like this because I have so many more brands that I'm always browsing and I have a lot of products that I cannot afford but I most definitely would recommend if you have the budget. So if you did enjoy this video, then you can subscribe so that you know whenever I post next and I will see you back here next time.